Hi Booktube! I'm here with my top five most interesting characters of 2015. These, I wanted to include some more books on my top favorite list, but I couldn't. And when I thought about it, I thought, you know what, really it's the characters that made the book for me. So why not make a separate video talking about characters? Um, so yes, without further ado, let's get into it. The first uh, most interesting character is uh, The Caboose from 21 Cardinals by Jocelyn Saucier. Um, I believe his real name is Denise, uh, Denis Cardinal. It's French. Uh, I guess we can call him Dennis. Um, but he really goes as the Caboose. He's the last of the 21 children in the Cardinal family. Um, 21 Cardinals is about a mining family in uh, Quebec who have 21 children and something has happened to one of the children. Um, now, the first um, point of view that we get is from the caboose, who doesn't really know what happened, um, because he was so young at the time of the tragedy, and they kind of covered it up. Um, so he's so endearingly oblivious to what's going on. Um, this is, you know, like 30, 40 years after this thing has happened. Um, and he's just so sweet and kind of a pathetic character, and you just kind of want to wrap him up because, you know, you, you realize he's destroyed um, by the end of the book by finding out what's happened um, to his sister. It's really, really good character. Really good characterization there. The next one is from Fifth Business, the character of Liesl. Um She's described as incredibly ugly, but also incredibly intelligent. She's a really strong female character who just goes out and takes what she wants. She doesn't care what anybody thinks about her. She's this, this is the way that life is because that's the way I want it to be. Um, she just, you know, she is also very compassionate, but in a very different way. Um, she wants to make sure that people live their lives to the fullest and the way she does that is really quite interesting. Um, I suggest you pick up Fifth Business even just to read about Liesl. She's such a fascinating character. Next is Jude. Ha um, he's from When Everything Feels Like the Movies by Raziel Reed. He was actually quite an unlikable character for me, um, but that doesn't mean that he wasn't interesting. Um, I didn't like him because I felt he was very self-destructive, that there were so many other paths for him to take, but he didn't. Um, and you can kind of understand why. So he's very brash, vulgar, obsessed with fame without talent, without that aspect of talent, just being famous for the sake of being famous, kind of like, you know, Kardashians and such. Um, and he's, he's also, he's a gender fluid, very openly gay um, uh, person as well. So what why he does that is because he's being bullied, because he's having trouble with his sexuality, because um, his home life is absolutely horrid. Um, so the way he deals with it is to be that kind of person. And I thought he was a very interesting character to read about, if not likable. Next is Nick Cranis in Stone Arabia. I don't have the hard um, I don't have the dust jacket for my hardcover here. Um, Stone Arabia is written by Dana Spiota. It's a book about memory. Um, and Nick Cranis is actually the brother of uh, the narrator in this novel. But Nick Cranis is a musician. Um, but he's also, I guess, very introverted, very asocial, maybe not antisocial, but asocial, doesn't feel the need for social interaction. And he obsessively documents a fake life for himself. So he has a, a select few people who he mails these things out to. He'll make CDs where he's, you know, pretending it's like a full-on band or he has like a solo album or he'll, he makes up magazines and posters and t-shirts and interviews and everything that you can imagine that surrounds the life of a, a rock star, he documents for himself so that if, say, an anthropologist years in the future stumbles upon this stuff, they actually think that he was a world famous rock star, but it's all fake. And I thought that was so interesting to have a character have that kind of creativity and that kind of weird aspect to even come up with that idea. I thought it was really fascinating to kind of see him, even if it was through the lens of, say, his niece and his sister. Now, one of the most fascinating characters of 
2015 for me is Thrawn from Heir to the Empire. Um, oh, they do include him on here. He's this little guy right here. Um, he's Thrawn, um, Heir to the Empire takes place after the sixth movie in the Star Wars universe. It's now no longer canon. I really wish they had made this into a movie. It's so fascinating. Thrawn himself is amazing, 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 amazing. Um, he's the villain. He's, um, he, what he does is he studies the culture and the art and the architecture and everything to do with the culture of the person that he wants to defeat, the, the culture, the world, the city that he wants to defeat so that he can anticipate how they're going to react or how they're going to act so that he can be steps ahead of them. And he uses very unusual means um, to get to know his enemy and to be able to defeat them. And it's just so fascinating reading about how he goes about to, and, and how he goes about to do this. Um, and he also manages to find a way to stop the force from affecting him. It is really quite uh, interesting. So the characters obviously have to come up with ways to get around him because he seems like an insurmountable enemy. So yes, those are my top five characters of 2015. Let me know down below what your favorite character was this year. And thank you for watching.